solve cos x minus 3 equal to 4 by cos x where x lie in the interval 0 to 180. Here they told you to solve. So you should find the values for x. Satisfying this equation and also it should lie in this interval 0 to 180. Now in this equation cos is present in two places. So instead of writing cos x every time what I do is I take cos x to be some other letter let us say y. Now this equation will change to in place of cos x you put y minus 3 equal to 4 by y. Now we should get rid of this denominator y. For that you multiply by y to each. So now we get y into y, y square minus 3y equal to this cancel out you get 4. Now you bring all the terms to one side. What I mean is this 4 should not be present on this side. So to remove the 4 you subtract 4. So now you get y square minus 3y minus 4 equal to 0. Now you got quadratic. Put this quadratic in the calculator to get the values for y. You get y values to be 4 and minus 1. Now replace y by cos x equal to 4 cos x equal to minus 1. Now here the values of cos x should always lie between minus 1 and plus 1. Here 4 does not lie in this interval. So here we, do, we will not get any values for x. So reject this equation. To get any value for cos x it should lie between minus 1 and plus 1. Here this do not lie so reject it. Now here to get the values for cos x here we have cos and it is negative. So now you check. In what all quadrants is cos negative? It is all silver tea cups. So cos is negative in the second and in the third. To get an angle in the second, we should do 180 minus cos inverse 1. Remember this. Negative sign this should be used only for selecting the quadrants. Once quadrants have been selected, you should not place negative sign again here. Remember that. Now, angle in the fourth quadrant do not lie in this interval. That means we don't need to find this angle. So now x equal to, calculate this you get 180. See man, for 180 we have equal to symbol. That means x can become 180. So this is accepted. So this is our answer. Am I clear?